Hey everyone, my name's Eddie Robinson, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to make a quick update video today, because there's some pretty exciting stuff happening soon. This rocket is finally going to launch in just two days. It's fully integrated, everything's installed, with the exception of the injection charge and the motor. Ready to go, ground systems are good, everything's tested, everything's operational, the launch site's confirmed, everything's ready to go in just two days. So I am viewing this first launch as a test rather than a launch. I'm not expecting a success. Uh, I, I'm no engineer, I'm not a control systems engineer, aerospace engineer. This is all just a test to see what works, what doesn't, what I need to fix, add, maybe even remove. Uh, and then from there I'll be able to continue with the project and keep working to try to get this thing to eventually work. The expectation is that it's likely going to go up in the air, fly across the sky and plummet into the dirt. But when that happens, I can assure you I'll be calling it a successful test and I'll be cheering. I started this project almost exactly one year ago. On the 4th of October last year, I made the decision to start this project to try to make a model rocket as overkill as possible. So around that time, I started to get plans to make more than just a cardboard rocket with some fancy electronics and I decided to go carbon fibre, make a crazy launch pad, crazy controller, all that stuff. I quickly announced my plans to everyone that I knew and all over social media and made the initial investment to get started. It was at this stage that I knew there was no turning back and I had to do the project. So from that stage onwards, I'd get home from school, I'd get my homework done as quick as I could and I'd be working until late at night to get things done. On weekends, I'd either be at work trying to fund the rockets or I'd be at home pulling consistent 12 to 14 hour days. But it's all paid off. Here I am now, ready to launch the rocket. It's going to be so exciting. I can't wait to see what happens. So with all that in mind, there is a couple of details that some of you might care about. The rocket's uh, dry mass is about 930 grams. So it, it's quite heavy, but that's mainly because of the carbon fiber construction. It is real carbon fiber, which is about 100 grams heavier than the cardboard equivalent. Um, the motor for the first launch is an Aerotech F27, which is certainly not ideal for the job. It has a very short burn time of about two seconds and a high thrust 27 newtons on average. When the rocket ignites, it's gonna go pretty quick, it'll go up pretty quick. I'm expecting it to go to about 80 meters according to the calculations I've made, uh, <laughs> if it flies straight that is. The launch pad's pneumatic system will be active, the wireless system will be active, this is all just as much of a test of the ground systems as what it is of the rocket systems. Uh, and I need to be able to verify that the ground systems work so that when I do future launches, I don't have to worry about that stuff and I can focus all of my time and effort and money on just the rocket and getting the rocket to work. I certainly can't wait for the first launch. I know there's a lot of people watching this video right now that are super excited. Just two days, this thing's gonna shoot off the pad and, and plummet into the dirt but it's going to be really cool to watch, I can't wait. To be the first one to see the video come out about this launch, uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to see constant updates, then I'll be putting a lot of updates on Twitter throughout the, uh, throughout the next couple of days, and while I'm at the launch site, I'll probably even post an early video of the launch on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter if you want to see things as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching this video. My name's Eddie Robinson. I'll see you next time.